Hi, it's Joy and today I'm going to be watching The Wild, Season 1, Episode 7, Day 15. So skipping forward a few days, I am keeping everything crossed that Martha is okay. We still haven't had her backstory yet, so hopefully, hopefully that means she's okay. Um, but I I'm just really, really stressed. I love this show. I love these girls. I am so stressed about what they're going through and I'm so scared about what they're going through in the like present rescued part and I hate the people that are doing this to them. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance and the edited version one week in advance and yes yeah, so without further ado let's go. Oh you okay? My god! Okay Martha's having a weird dream she's alive right? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Oh, Jeanette. Am I dead? No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Martha, come here. Let me help her. I've got her. Oh. Oh, she's healing. She's 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 recovering. Thank God. Oh. Why do I feel like they've somehow artificially man managed to manipulate the tides or? Okay, I don't actually think that, but... A humble theory and just a whisper of hope that it would be borne out. What is the theory? She saved the black box over door. Yeah, everything they built, gone. And she still doesn't trust Shelby. Shelby is one of my candidates, but like I said, I think it's almost too obvious now. Because Leah's onto it too. That would mean she volunteered for this nightmare. Yep. One of you did. Again, take a real good look at this camp. I'm so glad that Martha's okay. You haven't you been keeping track of the tide? What are you saying? Nora should have seen this coming? No, Rachel, that's not what I'm saying. Oh. Nora's the operative. She wanted this to happen. Why are we pointing fingers? I'm just so glad she's okay. Oh god. Oh. It's safe to say that we could blame the dead fire on our problematic Jesus free. <laughs> Look what washed up. Oh my god. How weird is that? that when you're back on <laughs> it is suspicious. It's clearly number three. Jeanette's Australian? So Jeanette's older than them or was. Interesting. Very interesting. You just got lucky. She has got lucky every time. I'm sorry. Doesn't anyone else find this like oh. completely unbelievable that Shelby just like found oh. yeah. Like what are you saying exactly? I don't know. You do she the thing is, she's under something, but when she's also a little bit kind of understandably freaking out like they all are. I think something pretty fucked is going on here and I think somebody knows all about it. Why the fuck would you never bring this shit to a casual retreat in Hawaii? Oof. What the fuck do you know? Leah, settle down. I, I, I just want everybody to think about this for like two seconds. Think Someone here is in on it. Jeanette was yeah. definitely, but... But two, if I throw this one out of the oh. it's gonna pop up. Right, Shelby? Oh. Don't you fucking dare. Leah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Leah. My three suspects. Please. Like, is she doing this because she's the one? Or is... Dot stepping in because she's the one. I don't think it's Shelby anymore. Happy? Shelby, there's nothing shameful in that. Okay? Right. Nothing. I think she needs to grow up and learn better views. Or what views of hers are wrong. But I do feel bad for her because I kind of don't think she's the option now that we've accused her of it so publicly. Which means she's very, very alone right now. Whoever is the operative is feeling pretty concerned right now. They're fucking idiots for letting you go. Yes, well, Ash has made the Given what she's doing, they're not idiots. We'll never forget the way I look in that clip. Sweetheart. Eyes rolling back like a fucking corpse. So she's a very vulnerable young woman. And then she's able to manipulate her great. 
I'm sorry too. As for the other operative, she functions as a fail safe, someone with wilderness skills who can reach out in an emergency. So now they're making me think it's Dot. She will blend seamlessly. Oh, who is it? So now I don't think it's Shelby, but I think it's Dot or Nora because Nora has loads of information. It's not exactly the. I mean, that's the first comfy seat they've had in days. Up to anything. No. Took you for a special ops rat. That's Leah's shit. You're just the sheltered, bigoted young lady who needs to grow up. I think your parents have brainwashed you all your life. I don't hate you. You get that, right? Yeah, we actually do though. Mm. Sorry, that's hate. It is. At least you could disown it. You hate who she is, even if you don't hate her, which means you do hate her. But you can grow and learn and be better. If I break Gretchen's trust just like that, you're so wrong. I'd rather fucking die. Oh my goodness, what does she have on you? I wouldn't find someone like you. But the right person would me. Yeah, the right person to help you torture teenagers. And then in 24 hours she'll be dead, or at least 48 hours she will be dead. I still think she was very young and vulnerable and then coerced into this. And then whoever the teenager is, it's a teenager who was coerced into this, manipulated somehow. <laughs> she had that ready! You let her down. You need to apologize for that properly. No, Stanford. No career. No big Olympic. We are falling apart right now. Oh god. She loses her arm at some point. A centimeter off regulation or I say the wrong thing about international politics and She's being brainwashed and pressured. I know. I know. It's at home too. But I'm not just talking about pageant stuff. Mm hmm It feels like everywhere I go. Nobody expects shit from me. I don't feel great either. Yeah. You know how many field trips I've had to be. But like but what? Shelby, you know, if you're trying to bad me, it's a losing fucking battle. But you're free, don't you see that? You don't have to answer to anybody. You both you have know. struggles. No, anyway, I mean, you're on a deserted island. Expectations that you left behind, you know, you're free. Mm -hmm. you're Shelby, and if you're not taking advantage of that, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Everyone struggles. Oh, okay. Did not expect this. Is she? I mean, I I don't like when people. So just gonna pause quickly. I don't like the idea that every single person who's homophobic is secretly gay. But I do think that there will be a lot of people who act very homophobically who are being raised in super Christian households where we love everybody and they're told like it's a sin, it's a sin, it's a sin. So then, if you feel that way, you're gonna think to yourself, "I'm sinning." So I do think that like I just. And also something Shelby was saying, I'll talk about a lot in my review as well, everyone's struggles are relative to themselves and how much you've been through and like yeah, I would rather have Shelby's problems than Tony's but that doesn't mean Shelby's problems aren't worthy either, if that makes sense. Everyone's struggles matter, it's just no one, you shouldn't act like, oh my struggles are worse than yours. <laughs> oh my god. Someone stop them! It's a battery. Never related so much to a toothbrush. <laughs> oh god, we are falling apart. However hard you think this is gonna be, count on it being much, much harder. I understand. I'm not sure you do. No. But you're willing to put children through this. Oh, does her arm get infected? Is that what happens? It gets infected so they have to cut it off? Oh fuck. 
every paper, every channel. You have fans in front of your houses, sticking microphones in front of your moms. And it's been, it's been 15 days and searches don't last forever. Not without leads and not without cash. We are stuck here. The least we could do is not kill each other. Because trust me, this place can take care of that just fine on its own. Money went out quick. Oh, I just don't know. I don't think Shelby's the operative now. I don't think it's Dot. So with my things, that would be Nora. Be careful. Mm -hmm. This is despicable. Yeah. Oof. Did he, like, tackle her or something? Seeing a girl lie there limp helpless to her own fate exactly like she was in the video what do you mean i can't do this they didn't fucking ask for this where what did you think was gonna oh fuck yep what did you think was gonna happen no so that's why he took it so hard oh God, she was so brainwashed by that woman that she went anyway, even though she was in agony and it was bringing up all her old traumas to see these girls suffering like this. It's true what we're doing involves I suppose in a way she kind of thinks like they're, while they're not, she can make it as better for them as they can. Well, did you also do this with a bunch of boys? I don't think that this would have the response you thought it would. Torturing some children. How on earth does she think this is going to go down? No wonder she'll be stuck so strongly to those ideals she thought they applied to her. Well, now it's just too fucking quiet. <laughs> A plane. Hey, oh, they have hope. Is this an authorized plane from the people that did it? Yeah, her life. She doesn't really want to go back to it. Okay, so Martha is alive. Thank God. Oh my God, I was so stressed, but I was also like, no, no, we didn't see her like properly be dead or buried or any of that sort of stuff. She'll be fine. And um, it was just a very horrible close near miss. I loved getting to see Jeanette or Lynn's story and finding out kind of who she is and what motivated her to do this because it's despicable what has happened and what they've done to these girls. And I do not think it's going to have the consequences that she thinks because yeah, okay, maybe you have a point. But did you also do this experiment, which I hope she didn't, with a bunch of teenage boys? Because otherwise, for all you know, it's just this generation that are wonderful and would be all pulling together and there wouldn't be too much fighting. In fact, there was fighting until Dot stepped in. Um, like, I, I just, I don't think what, that this is going to have the consequences she thinks. And then she's going to, what, say to the parents, oh yeah, we stranded your kids for 12. Like, I just, what, what is... Why? How does she think this is gonna go? This better end with her in prison, because seriously. And whoever the child operative is, they are a teenager, they- clearly all of them are having quite stressful times in their lives. And Dot is still, like, I kind of feel like I ruled out Shelby. And I was mostly suspicious of her because of her, like, positive attitude. But obviously that's just how she feels she has to be all the time. She can't let it show when she's suffering. And while, yes, it is helpful to them to have someone that's like that, she's not really being true to herself. Dot is the most obvious because we saw that she made that deal, or not that deal, but you know, she was around the table with her and she convinced her to do it, etc. But I don't, I think Dot's too obvious, but maybe she's not too obvious, I don't know. She knows what to do all the time, but she's had a few breakdowns. And then the other theory that I have with being Nora, she's also had a breakdown, so I just don't know. Nora knows a lot of stuff and I feel like sometimes when no one else steps in, she suggests things, like maybe she's letting them deal with it first. Maybe she thought it would be good for Rachel, though, again, I don't know why she would drag her sister there too. I just don't know why any of them would do it. And so for Lynn, she was very much taken in by, she very much respected 
old Gretchen and she thought her ideals were great and she was sucked into this mission being worth all of this wonderful stuff and so when she got hurt she still kept going and of course the thing that triggered her was seeing another girl lying helplessly having been drugged something that wasn't her choice what would they have done as well if every girl hadn't had the cake like what did they have a backup plan for if someone like if Rachel was like oh no I can't have calories what would they have done <sighs> anyway I just I understand why Lynn did it even though she was an adult she was a young adult she was still vulnerable given her experiences and kind of the fact that her experiences had bred this hatred of men I think having a female role model who agrees with you believes in you supports what you support kind of sucks you in and she lost herself a bit to that and so she went on with the mission even when she was really hurt and then she died and left the girls without an adult supervisor and I also kind of feel like potentially Part of why she did go through with it wasn't necessarily, it was partly, yeah, because she'd been brainwashed into it by Gretchen, but also because she kind of realised this is happening and if I pull out, they'll probably just do it without me, but they're redundant and there'll be a teenager looking out for them and she probably kind of thought, if I'm there, I can help make this as good as possible for these girls. But I just, it's just, everything about it is disgusting and brutal and I need this to end with Gretchen and her little cohorts suffering prison for this action. I just I really don't understand how what they think this is going to do in the wider world like oh yes we believe all women we, women should rule the world because I kidnapped some tortured some teenagers I don't I don't understand it I mean I'm guessing it's not going to be made public knowledge but uh, does she expect the kids to go along I just what is her crazy plan so at the moment I brought out Shelby as the operative um so it's Nora or Dot Dot's too obvious I don't think it's Nora but maybe the obvious one is the answer I don't know um I am sad that Lynn died, you know, she didn't deserve to die. If anyone here deserves to die, it's Gretchen, but no one deserves to die. So then, seeing the way the girls fell apart, but Dot kind of brought them back together, and sometimes letting your frustrations and true feelings out helps you calm down and be together, you know. You can fight, but you can still come back to each other. I think the sisters have had that tension, they kind of reached a point of truce, but they have that tension within them, and it could be part of why Nora brought them here. But it's kind of that clash of personalities and of how their parents have kind of put them in different corners in a way that they need to get out of their system so that they can build a real relationship. I am guessing the bite is going to become infected and have to be chopped off. Um, maybe that was done by medical staff when they got back to the base. I hope that none of the girls are going to have to do it at this point because the plane spotted them. Um, I don't know how much, I mean, this, this was episode 7, so we've got 8, 9, 10, 3 episodes. Maybe all of episode 10 will be when they're safe, I don't know. But who knows how long they're going to be left on the island for. Now, it depends, was that plane part of their, like, little helping hand to give them hope because they were losing it and thinking no one's looking for us and so they need something to give them a reason to keep going because they were losing a reason to keep going? Um, we will see. I almost feel like... They should have looked into like building proper shelters or whatever, but it's going to be really weird to think like if no, if it was fake and no help comes, what? Like if that was a real plane, you would report. I saw a bunch of people on a deserted island with, then they'd find them. Um, I just, oh, I just, I don't know how they're going to explain this to the world. I don't know what they expect the girls to do other than psychologically torture them into saying, "Oh yes, we had a nice time on our summer camp. Thanks, mum and dad." Um, so. Nora is currently my number one suspect, but Dot, I think, is still a contender, but then I don't know. I feel like Dot's breakdowns have been about the situation, and therefore, understandably, Nora's have been about Rachel, which is something she brought with her. I don't know. Leah suspecting Shelby. Now, I totally understand why you keep seeing her sneak off, um, and she's always so helpful and suggesting things and explaining things. It's the thing that I was in, the sneaking off I wasn't quite so suspicious of. And it's just, I think, for her bad luck that she found the bags both times. Um, if Shelby hadn't found the original bag, Nora would have gone and found it. Or Dot would have gone and found it. I don't know why I just decided it was Nora. Um, I think she is currently my suspect. Like, if you told me right now, like, tell me who you think it is, I would pick Nora. But I don't really know. Um, Leah is... I think it's hard when you're onto something. And obviously Leah... I feel like maybe Leah needs to be on some anti-anxiety medication or something. You know, I'm on it. There's no shame in being on it. I feel like she's kind of, she is onto something. She can sense that something is wrong. The others are kind of a bit blinded by the situation they're in. But Leah has a very critical mind and analytical mind. She notices things. And she has noticed what is wrong here. She can see that Jeanette had the sat phone. Jeanette had loads of stuff that's going to come really in handy. Just happened to be in her second bag. Even though that seems so out of character for her. And all that kind of thing. Like... Leah is onto them, which is why they made such a big deal about making her think she's crazy. But also, 
she's in hell <laughs> so you're not going to be having the most analytical thought process or the most logical explanation of your thoughts and so her kind of attacking Shelby over it yes she went too far but I also think none of them are totally to blame for how they're acting right now because they're in hell um and so she'll be finally revealing to them all that she's not perfect because she needs dentures i mean sweetheart you are beautiful with without the dentures you are smart and capable and kind mostly when you're not proud spouting bigoted beliefs but we'll get to that because yes um so yeah i think leah is struggling and will continue to struggle and i need them to find a way to find each other when they're in this place because then they can try and solve it together i guess i don't know um I'm worried when, I'm still worried about the fact that Rachel said, do my parents know about Nora? Know what about Nora? What's going to happen to Nora? I'm very worried about that. Very, very worried about that. Um, I'm intrigued about the plane. Like, was the plane just like a random, like, day trip plane that they had no control over and next episode they're going to be scrambling to cover it up? Or was the plane part of the mission? We'll find out, but I'm excited. So then we have Shelby and Tony. And I'm glad that Tony was, you know, in that moment in the woods, kind of not treating her, not like, you know, not being horrible to her, but just being like, no, no, you do hate me. Like, you are being, like, I, I, I acknowledge you, I'm gonna, like, treat you like a person, but you are a bigot. And then, of course, when she kind of, again, the whole issue of the feeling, every single one of us has problems in our lives that for us can seem insurmountable, and sure, yeah, if you then got someone else's problems, you'd think, oh, well, if only I was back to being worried about that, but it doesn't change how it feels for you. And I definitely can see Shelby as, not only she's been put into pageants, but her whole life is a pageant. It's being the pretty perfect, um, good Christian girl, doing whatever her parents think, thinking what her parents think, think, saying what her parents say, and never questioning it. Now, even if she didn't have some sort of repressed and gay feelings, that could still be a lot. And it would still take kind of really getting out of that bubble to see the world for how it really is. But it definitely seems after this episode that she is attracted to women. Now, maybe she's bisexual, maybe she's gay. I don't, both are valid. But that would be, like, I just think LGBT children in super conservative households suffer. And they act, they, they fake, they act, they don't act like themselves. And they grow into really, really badly adjusted adults. And I think for Shelby, not only has she had to kind of maintain this absolutely perfect image all the time, but she feels like she has to repress who she is because if a parent ever got wind of it, God knows what they'd do to her. And so in a way for her, it's almost like she was the only one that didn't seem happy the plane was coming. It's like she's finally beginning to admit who she really is. And then, oh, she's going to get taken back home and how terrible. But I mean, I think she's, they're all like 17. So in a year, Shelby, you can leave. In a year... I mean, you could leave now, but in a year you'll be 18, you can go to college, you can just ditch your parents. You've made some sisters here, they will look out for you. I think, I think Tony realising that a lot of that hatred and bigotry and being uncomfortable around Tony was actually internalised self-hatred is going to give her a different light. Now normally, I think it's a bit overdone in media having the homophobic person be secretly closeted, but I also think in certain instances that is still a valid plot line, and this is one of them where you do have a very conservative child who hasn't been free to be herself ever. So I'm kind of I'm glad she kissed Tony, and Tony didn't pull her back. But I think at some point I would really, really like to see a proper conversation between her and Tony, um, and it should be good if all of the girls could talk about it, and if Shelby could let those walls down and let them in. And then when she gets home, tell her parents to go fuck themselves. You know, God made her gay. If she believes in this kind, loving, wonderful God, why would he make her gay just so that she could go to hell? That's stupid. So, or is it that whole thing, like, only if you act on it, you go to hell. I just really hope that Shelby gets to talk to Tony and Tony, they can kind of, for now, that's all she's got, but like she can get through this. She can realise that she needs to be herself regardless of anything else. Um, so fingers crossed for Shelby's future that she's going to talk to Tony or talk to Martha. Martha is the kindest, most caring person ever. She will be there for you. I'm so glad Tony and Martha are back on good terms. I think in a lot of ways, while this is hell and while this the, the Gretchen deserves to go to prison for this, some of them have had some emotional growth in terms of their who they are as people and what they want to be like as people, but they could have also had that in their real lives without being stranded on an island. So this was a fantastic episode. We got a real insight into who Jeanette or Lynn was, into what went down when they actually, when it all happened, into what went wrong that killed Jeanette, and then into who Shelby is and into the rest of them. They're at breaking point because of course it's been two weeks. There is no sign of help. You've just lost, like you kind of feel like when you've made a camp, you've got a routine, we have a system and then it's all taken from you. You would be hopeless, but now they've seen a plane, there is some hope there. Um, I think the next episode is day 16, but then I feel like 
the other episodes are also called day something or other so maybe one of the later days is just them being in I don't remember if it's like 17 18 or what but maybe it's I feel like at least one of them is day 20 something um but that could be them being in the safe place so no I'm just loving this show I'm gonna kind of sad when it ends but also happy because hopefully their suffering will be over and they'll be free thank you so much for watching a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon two weeks in advance the edited version one week in advance thank you for watching